Hello there, welcome to the October 2020 paper. Here we're looking at question three. So solve the equation x root two minus root 18 equals x. Simplifying, uh, so writing the answer as a third in its simplest form. So we wanna group all the x's together first. So if we start with x root x, and then we'll minus that x onto the left-hand side, and then we'll move the root 18 onto the right-hand side. Now let's factorize out the x, so it's going to be root 2 minus 1 equals, now root 18 is uh, 9 times 2, so that will be 3 root 2. Now let's divide this onto the other side, so it's going to be 3 root 2 over root 2 minus 1. We want to simplify it, uh, so we'll have to rationalize the denominator, so times the top and bottom now by root 2 plus 1, root 2 plus 1. And treat this now as an expanding the brackets on the numerator and the denominator. So root three, so three root two times root two will give us six, and then plus three root two when you multiply the three root two by the one. Root two times root two is two. Minus root two and plus root two will cancel, and then it'll be minus one. So it's going to be six plus three root two as the final answer for the value x. Let's move on to part b of this question. Uh, solve the equation 4 to the power of 3x minus 2 equals 1 over 2 root 2. The base of this question here is, a, is 2 to the power of something. 2 to the power of 2 is 4, so that's going to be 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 3x minus 2 equals, and then to make this... Um, expression on the right hand side, it's going to be 2, to, now a half is going to be 2 to the power of minus 1, 1 over root 2 is going to be 2 to the power of minus a half, so you add those powers together because they're being multiplied, and it'll be minus 3 over 2. So if we now expand the brackets on the left hand side, when you do a power of a power, you multiply your powers together, so 6x minus 4 equals 2 to the minus 3 over 2. Now what we'll do is we'll equate, now that we've got the same bases, so this question here was really important, you've got the same bases, now we can set the indices to each other. So 6x minus 4 equals minus 3 over 2. 6x will therefore equal um, eight over, 5 over 2. So then divide by the 6 and you get 5 over 12. So there we are, that's the answer for x. And there we are, that's the answer for question three in total there. That's worth six marks in total, three for each question there. So there we are, the key to this question here was to make the same base on your equation. Let's move on to question four.